proceed. Thank you, sir. Uh, tell me something about yourself. Good morning, sir. Uh, I am Ananya Priyadarshini. Uh, I am from Pichipuri, Kordha. I completed my uh, 10 and plus 2 from JNB Kordha. Then I completed my uh, graduation from PM Autonomous College Kordha. Uh, post graduation from Ramadevi Women's University and uh, BA degree from Central University of Haryana. Uh, very good, Ananya. So, you. why you want to become a teacher in general and science teacher in particular? Yes, sir. Uh, like everyone, that one. Aim is not uh, up to school level, up to intermediate level. So, my aim was different. Hmm. So after uh, my graduation and during this bad degree, uh, before bad degree, hmm. I developed that uh, I used to teach some student. So that made me inspired to become a teacher, mm -hmm. and particularly science teacher because uh, we know science see the world uh, like practically. That means it is a gateway of knowledge that we can see the things in a practical way. There are certain taboos, certain misconceptions about uh, different facts, mm -hmm. but it provides an opportunity uh, we can see it in experimental way and in a practical way. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, the, the teaching technology has evolved over a period of time and especially teaching a subject like science requires a lot of tools. So how you make uh, your teaching interesting so that student, uh, students will get fascinated towards uh, learning science? So, if we see previously how teaching system was there, it is basically lecture method. But now the technology evolved and different uh, approaches are also developed. So, uh, basically, if we inculcate technology in our teaching, like uh, uh, a smart board, like uh, in the internet, MS Office, we can use like uh, uh, PowerPoint presentation and uh, uh, different animated videos, documentary related to our subject. That will be better to answer, to make the learning effective. And students are from different back, different uh, learning level, so it is not easy to. Uh, make a class monotonous, like teaching in a lecture method or simply in one way. So if we provide in different way that the, there are some visual learner, there are some uh, auditory learner, that make more effective. And if also uh, the technology is some case not available, we can also use certain TLM to teaching learning material to make the class more interesting. And if we, for example, I am teaching in a class, I am teaching a class student, uh, plant part of the plant. So I can easily take uh, flower, leaves, and also I can use uh, charts and class cards. Okay. So generally, you know, we say that science can create different values in the learners. Which, what are the values can be developed by teaching science? Values like uh, not uh, not believe in uh, what comes to what comes do not believe in that in that way. What comes uh, don't take it as a uh, which way it comes. We can explore it in other way. Basically, I am saying that while, while I am teaching political science or history, yes. I develop democratic value, social value, moral value in the history. I am talking about this, yes. any, any sort of type, type of value can develop by science. Yes, sir. Uh, we can develop awareness among the student that uh, our teaching should be like interdisciplinary. It is not that I am teaching science, that is also related to environmental studies. So I can uh, ask to, to uh, ask the student to take for the uh, different plantation program. That is also, 
and also I can teach, uh, I can give the first aid training to the students. What is the impact of realism in teaching? Yes, realism that uh, <coughs> real world that is is there. So it it provide uh, it provide what is uh, sorry. I'm unable to recall. Basically, realism really? focuses on practical. Practical. And practical is the necessary part of science. Science. What is cellular respiration? Cellular respiration. Uh, that in animal. cellular animal. Animal. Define what is cellular respiration. Cellular respiration. That respiration that in cellular level. Cell. That. What happens began. there? Yes. What is the mechanism behind cellular respiration? Okay. What is my photosynthesis? It is the process by which plant takes its nutrient from the soil and uh, sunlight and in the presence uh, in the presence of chlorophyll prepare its food. What do you What do my immune system? What do my immune immune system? Immune system. Immune system. That is the defense mechanism of our body to uh, defend pathogens. What are my pathogens? Uh, pathogens, those are harmful microorganisms that cause disease. What is the role of biodiversity? Bio means living, diversity means uh, dif uh, diverse of organisms that may include plant and animals. And if, as we know, plant is the uh, inseparable part of our life that we get oxygen and different materials also for livelihood and animal. Uh, so animal also part of our diversity, like different animals staying in the uh, forest also. So it forms an interrelationship that uh, provide it uh, better for the development. The role of meiosis in cell reproduction. Meiosis, meiosis. That is uh, uh, that uh, due to that the character that we seen in us that is transferred from our parents. That we all we basically listen that you are like your father, you are like your mother. This is the cause of meiosis. Uh, that character that transferred from our parents to us. What is the structure of DNA and what is the function of DNA? Structure is double uh, uh, DNA structure that is double standard and it is made up of nitrogen uh, sugar, nitrogenous base, and phosphate group. Function of DNA. Function that uh, DNA contain gene which transfer from uh, character from the parents to upstream. Can you name any two enzymes that those who are being involved in DNA replication? DNA, uh, DNA polymerase and DNA ligase. What is the function of polymerase and what is the function of ligase? DNA polymerase, that is synthesis of, helping the synthesis of DNA and ligase when there is cut, when new DNA is formed from the existing DNA and when it is formed, uh, it forms some uh, cut in some portions and that ligase help, help in the uh, that jo joining that DNA structure. So can you name any two bacteria those who are functioning photosynthesis? Functioning photosynthesis. Can you name any bacteria those who are living by using photosynthesis? Yes, cyanobacteria and gluclinal. Okay. So what do you mean by chemical reaction and what are its types? Uh, chemical reaction in which uh, different uh, different elements or molecules are uh, joined react to form another product types types combination reaction uh, reductional reaction displacement reaction double displacement what is my precipitation reaction so, okay sure what happens when one metal is reacted with acid? When metal uh, react with acid, it forms acid and hydrogen, salt and hydrogen. Sir. What are the type of salts? Uh, what 
what is the pH value of our waves? pH range for waves? pH range that is uh, above 7. 7 to? 7 to 5. 7 to 5. What is refraction? Refraction. So the refraction of light. Refractive index. What is the unit of work? Joule. Any other units? What do you mean by thermodynamics? So when we go from sea level to the upper level, higher level, uh, what happens to the boiling point of water? What do you mean by the process of expression in analyta? How analyta do expression? Analyta through trackets. Trackets. And what happens to reptiles? Uh, in case of reptiles, uh, which organism they use for expression? And what happened to cricket? Cricket or grasshopper? Grasshopper generally use an organism Mar for expression. But what are the forms of different asexual reproduction in plant? Types of asexual reproduction in plant? Yes, generally, uh, in case of plants, it is uh, uh, cutting, layering, and mounting. Boring is not a part of it? It is microorganism. Generally, boring can be seen in which type of microorganism? It is seen in hydra and yeast. Okay, thank you. Good morning everyone. How are you all? It's very nice that you all are doing well. Uh, so, uh, let's start a topic. So students, have you ever seen a seed? It's very, it's very obvious that all of you have seen seed. So give me some examples of seed. Okay, yes, a moon seed, pea seed. There are various seed that we see in our day-to-day -day life. Uh, let's take an example of pea seed. So, this is like pea seed? Yes. So, uh, for example, this is the first thing. You see the this seed. And after uh, one week, if we soak this seed in a in water, then after one week, what we can, what we will see? Yes. After one week, this sprout-like structure that arises from this seed, yes or no? Yes. So after this is after uh, two to three days. After one week, small plant-like structure, yes. And like this type, two leaves are there. Then after, this is after one week. And after one month, a plant-like plant. Having some leaves, yes or no? Yes. Okay, now uh, let's example of this room. Uh, your school. Your school made up of different rooms? Yes. Then rooms made up of walls, roof, floor? Yes. And if we take the example of this uh, this wall, 
how it is made up of yes it is made up of bricks so and if we see also your book open your book your book contains different paragraph yes and paragraph made up of yes lines and these lines made up of yes words and your words made up of that's letter very good so that means we take two examples that brick brick to wall wall to room room to school likewise uh, word word to sorry letter letter to word word to line and line to say, uh, line to paragraph then whole book so likewise we say we see what anything that we see many things around we see that made up of small entity yes likewise if we see a plant or ourselves also we also must be made up of small entity yes so that small entity that made a human or a microorganism or a plant that is cell so today we are going to okay ma'am yeah. how many types of cells are there there are two types of cell what are those eukaryotic cell prokaryotic cell who propose as the cell theory cell theory uh, cell theory given by silden and swan any significance of prokaryotic cell prokaryotic cell that is uh, that uh, uh, that differ from the eukaryotic cell on the basis that nuclear membrane is absent and generally it is same in case of bacteria the basic difference between plant cell and animal cell basic difference between plant cell animal cell is that in case of animal cell cell wall is absent and in case of plant cell wall that is extra membrane around the nuclear side plasma membrane that is present the other difference in case of animal cell centriole is there and in plant that is absent okay thank you ma'am thank you sir. Okay, now a minute. Uh, we want to give some feedback. Uh, actually, a lot of positive things uh, are going for you as far as your introduction is concerned. Uh, basically, you want to become a biology teacher or a physics chemistry teacher? Science teacher. Science teacher. Science teacher. Yeah. It seems that uh, you are little uh, poor yes. in chemistry. Chemistry. Yeah. And uh, sir will give you that yes. honest feedback. How could you improve upon them? बॉडी so all these things and uh, your entry is pure is good and your voice is also good. voice quality is just after to be tailored for teaching teaching so a lot of things are going for you but the little things which sir has already told you have to uh, look on them uh, you will get selected okay thank you ठीक है सर कंट्रोल ठीक है सर और कंट्रोल डेमो पे जो पूरा डेमो ना हो गया बट 